start with this problem make some divisible by p so you have been given the array and it's a sum can be anything can be divisible by p or cannot be divisible by p but you want to make this array into something uh, which have a sum divisible by p so let's say if the array is 3 1 4 2 and p is equal to 6 right and uh, currently the sum you can see sum is equal to you can say sum is equal to 10 which is not divisible by p why it's not divisible by p because sum is in the form of 6k plus 4 10 is 6k plus 4 now you want to make this divisible by 6 how will you do that one thing is that you know what you need to do you know that you need to remove something like 6k plus 4 from this array uh, basically you need to remove a sub array uh, also like uh, and then the sum of that sub array will get removed but how much sub array uh, how much sum you need to remove in form of sub array 6k plus 4 because if you remove 6k plus 4 from 6k plus 4 which is current sum will it become zero always like if the k is same then it will be zero but let's say this is k1 this is k2 so the difference it will get is equal to 6 of k1 minus k2 which is equal to again 6k so then you know what i'm saying are you getting it so to make this divisible by 6 you need to remove something having a sum of 6k plus 4 6 k can be anything k1 k2 uh, if this is uh, original sum is 6k1 plus 4 you need to remove 6k2 plus 4 such that the total sum becomes you know what you have to remove in simple terms you have to remove either 4 4 remove for denge, then it will become 6k you can but it's not like we have to remove only 4 we can remove 10 also we can remove 16 also which is the total uh, you know 10 is the current sum total sum okay and uh, the other case for this problem would have been key total sum minus 16 and the 4 is not written 4 is again 10 is written then you need to return 10 but uh, how will you return because 4 tato, you can directly remove this 4 and then you can say ha ha in just one uh in just one operation i'll just remove this 4 and i will have 6 uh, 3 1 2 which is sum equal to 6 okay good but now you don't have something number like 4 which you can remove you don't have 10 you have 10 in the form of 5 5 so you need to remove this sub array now how will you do this uh basically you need to see that okay you got some numbers like this can be anything up till uh 4 plus 6k and the number can max be up to let's say 10 key power 9 they are saying so it can go up to 10 key power 9 1 e 9 so there are so many range of number which you can delete but obviously not because based on that sum also so you can say like the sum is 16 so you have to go till upper range of that also only so you can remove either 4 you can remove either 10 you can remove either 16 if the sum was 36 then you can remove something like this plus 4 which is 20 plus 4 which is 24 you know these things you can remove plus 28 plus uh, 32 this what this is what you can or you can remove your complete 36 here so these are the possibilities which you can remove from this array currently the sum is not 36 so let's keep our talks to 16 now what you need to do uh, so what i told you that key there can be many possibilities so you cannot check for every possibility then it will take so much time but uh, then how would you and how to check the every possibility like how uh, we do normal sub array type of question you can see the sub array every sub array we can see the sum the sum can be seen as like okay is it a basically uh, 10 or 16 or something like that you know but then it's not possible to go on every sub array you will take n square time and to calculate that sum you will take n cube time and after that checking is not uh, much uh, and checking is also of n time in this because there you have to check for 4 10 16 also uh, so now how to do this in just one operation you know you have to reduce time complexity but how will you do that so basically the logic is he you know the logic which you used in the last question is the base for this question to get 3 1 and 5 5 and 2 so if you want to see then you can see the previous question the previous question which we did was something like uh, uh, let me see in similar question sub array sum divisible by k yeah perfectly this was that question i think yeah this was this question sub similar uh, sub array divisible by k um, okay so the logic behind this is key when we write a suffix sum array you have to create a suffix sum array like how we create key sum till this point is three sum till this point is four sum till this point is uh 
and you have to suffix some array but suffix some array also cannot help you because you know some till this point is 4 and this is 9 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 4 is 14 and now you can see this 14 and 4 this difference is 10 which means this difference is 10 and you have to remove this you know this this pair is such a good pair like 4 and 14 is a good pair because their difference is 10 which you need to remove that can make this array good now complete sum is 16 but you know this can can't even help you because uh, whatever is good for you like a uh, 14 minus 4 which is 10 is also good for you something somewhere like 4 is also good for you 4 minus because 0 is also there where there is nothing you know initially there is 0 also so this 4 minus 0 is also good for you because this is 4 this is 10 also good 16 minus 0 is also good for you you can remove complete array but then uh, how do you know you cannot even like uh, do this again and again so you should have something like the, whatever is written like 16 uh, and 0 so whatever is written over here should we you know uh like the difference is 16 okay that's good but you know uh if uh, uh, you have to check by calculating basically uh you have to check for every such pair like 14 and 4 ke liye and then 16 and 0 ke liye and 4 and 0 ke liye so let me create a the another array which is this if this is a sum array there would be some modulo p array okay what is p which is given in the question so that is the okay let me create some space P is basically 6, okay? So 0, what is 6? Nothing. 3, remain as 4. This will become 3, okay? Now you get something like, okay, 3. But what this suggests key when some model of P array contains the same element, this means that this sum is basically a multiple of 6, which we, the logic we used in the last question. But now we have to go one step forward. So 14 uh, divided by 6 is 2. Or maybe like this is also useful in this question, like the basic thinking, as you can see, uh, you will see uh, later. So this is 14 and 16 modulus is 4. Uh, as we know, that's 6 k plus 4. So last answer has to be 4. Because this is the extra 4 which you are having. Now you need to remove this 4. Okay? How you can remove this, uh, uh, basically, this four you have to remove but now what to look out in this array you you know you know that 14 and 4 was a good thing for you but for you 14 but the difference is 10 you know difference is 10 was good for you and over here you will see in terms of pair kit 2 is basically corresponding to 4 so if you are seeing 2 over here you will check whether 4 is present or not if 4 is at present that means you know it will say that the sum is divisible by you know uh, it the sum between this would be 6k plus 4 so there are uh, now you just need to look out for six such pair there will be six pairs now you don't need to look out for every possible you know difference like 10 4 16 20 24 this is not you have to you have to just look for the pairs like this 4 and 0 is a good pair right 4 and 0 is a good pair because you can see this 4 over here and the 0 over here so the 4 minus 0 was 4 16 minus 0 was 16 which was both the were good but over here we will just look in terms of 4 basically 4 minus 0 and so basically we are just reducing us the space from you know uh from checking the so many infinite numbers to checking just six numbers four is paired with zero okay it's not like zero two is paired with four so four should be paired with two no 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 four will pair out as zero why this pairing works this pairing works that you know this two what is this two suggest key the sum up till this point is equal to 6k plus 2 and what this 4 suggests? This 4 suggests sum up till this point is equal to 6 of k1 plus 4. Something like that. And yeah. So the good thing about this now. Ki when you see this pair. This pair suggests you. Ki the difference between you know uh, these two points will be 6k plus 4. That is the thing. Ki agar yaha pe 6k plus 2 likha hai. Yaha pe 6k plus 4 likha hai. Why this is a good pair? Because uh, 6k plus 2 se agar mein poochh hoon ki uh, you know uh, I want to reduce something like 6k plus 4 from you. So how I can reduce 6k plus 4 from you? Uh, le minus karke dekh lete hai. Minus 6 of like k can be different. So let's say 6 of k, k2. 6 of k2 minus uh, plus 4. Thik hai. This I want to remove from this. So agar jase totally mein se mein ko minus karna hai. To dekh lo kya baat jaga. 6k1 wa jaga. 6k1 k1 आ गया k1 minus k2 plus 2 minus 4 क्या होता है minus 2 now minus 2 कैसे ही तुम लिखोगे like you are uh, obviously you can say कि 2 and minus 2 is a good pair ठीक है क्योंकि जब इसका difference 2 है और इसका difference minus 2 है तो minus 2 कैसे suggest करता है यहाँ पे minus 2 भी लिखा हो सकता है ठीक है मतलब minus 2 लिखा भी नहीं है obviously मतलब 4 ही remainder है but minus 2 का मतलब क्या है कि जब मैं इसको uh, 6 से divide करता हूँ तो remainder is minus 2 the sum up till here 
or which is true because 4 is actually kind of a minus 2 uh, 4 minus 2 is you know a 4 sorry 6 minus 2 is 4 so basically ye ek hi baat hai minus 2 likhao ya 4 likhao that you know yaar mathematically ki 4 or minus 2 ek hi baat hai with respect to modulus 6 kyunki minus 2 modulus 6 karenge to wo bhi 4 hi aata hai oh that's about it and uh, so that's why like this 2 and 4 is a good pair because jab maine reduce kara to basically yahan pe aa jayega aapka plus 4 kyunki minus 2 aur 4 ek hi baat hai so 6k1 plus 4 this is a good pair for this kyunki jab maine isme se uh, to good pair ki definition clear ho gayi jab is number mein se main 6k plus 2 mein se kuch uh, main 6k plus 4 ghatao to kya bach raha hai mere paas 6k plus 4 so that why 2 is good pair with 4 4 ke liye to obviously good pair zero hi hoga kyunki 6k plus 4 ye currently element hai to jab main isme se 6k plus 4 something like hata so 6k minus 6k is 6k1 4 4 to cancel out okay plus 0 de de so that's why this is a good pair so pairing ka ekor formula jo aapke paas nikal ke aata hai wo hai ki currently element kya hai aapka maan lo ye currently hum dekh rahe hai 2 ko dekh rahe hai to 2 ke liye dhoon lo kisko 6 minus 4 4 ye given in the question hai thik hai 4 is given in the question so ye dhoon lo that is again like aur iska modulus le lo agar ye 6 se bada ho jaye kyunki kisi case mein ye modulus 6 se bada ho sakta hai i think yeah to iska modulus 6 le lenge kyunki obviously zero bhi ho sakta hai na kyunki jab 4 aur 4 tum dekhoge to 4 ke liye hum bolenge ki 4 ke liye what is a good pair 4 plus 6 minus 4 which is equal to 6 6 modulus 6 is equal to 0 to 4 ke liye good pair ki value 0 a gayi so in this way we'll create uh, you know pairing basically we'll check the for good pairs ki like uh, currently i am seeing this too ki whether i have seen 4 in previous or not if i have seen 4 in previous it means ki in dono ke beech ka difference kitna hai 6k plus 4 hai this can be mathematically proven logically proven iske liye thoda sa aapko test and one of the test cases like check karna padega that's about it to sabse pehla step hoga int sm is equal to accumulate nums.begin se leke nums.end comma 0 which means the total sum if the sum is divisible by 6 modulus is equal to 0 then we will return 0 no need to oh sorry why i am doing 6 we have been given p yeah return 0 no need to remove anything right now the thing starts now the basic thing starts key int r the total remainder is like this is 4 in this case is equal to sm modulo p right that's about it and uh, s is equal to 0 initial sum i'm starting from 0 if mapping which i need for you know storing this uh this things key this things i'm storing in map and uh, like m of 0 is present in minus 1 position so basically 0 r hai to kaun si position pe rakha that is also needed because 4 ke liye i need okay uh, 0 is a good pair for you so you have 0 okay so you can remove something but difference kya hai kitna mere ko sabare remove karna hai right wo mere ko ye bata dega minus this equal to yeah so basically that's what you need to tell the length of the sub array which you need to uh, tell so basically zero present hai minus 1 pe 4 present hai 1 pe to total difference kitna hua 2 which you need to delete uh, for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus total sum s plus equal to hum karenge nums of i modulo p now this is the good thing we are not creating s array we are creating s mod p array so this wala array we are creating this means sare number 6 se chote honge obviously x mod p aur iski kuch properties hain like pehli property jo maine last question mein discuss kari thi ki agar numbers repeat ho raha hai 3 3 iska means ka hai ki beech ka sum jo hai wo mera 6 ka divisible hai aur pairs agar repeat ho rahe hain jo good pair which we want ki good pair kaise chahiye if m dot count agar tumhe iska pair mil raha hai pair kya hoga s ka pair hoga s plus equal to p minus r modulo iska pure ka yahan pe shuru karo ye and modulo karo p ke sath theek hai if m dot count this exists in the array then what you have to do result variable banayenge minimum karenge current result jo chal raha hai ya fir in dono ke beech ka difference i minus uh, m of something like this let's copy this from here m of something like this theek hai so jo bhi uh, ye hoga value wo aa jayega and then we will return result अभी एक काम करते हैं कि यहां पे आर ये इसको इनिशियलाइज कर देते हैं एन से ठीक है एंड एन से क्यों बिकॉज़ इफ आर ये इज इक्वल टू नॉट इफ बट यू कैन जस्ट राइट रिटर्न आर ये अगर तुम्हारा एन है या फिर इज लेस देन एम है तो भी हम आर ये रिटर्न करेंगे अदरवाइज वी विल रिटर्न माइनस 1 बिकॉज़ क्योंकि अगर सारे ही डिलीट करना पड़ रहा है तो इट मींस दिस इज इंपॉसिबल यू विल रिटर्न माइनस 1 लाइक इन दिस केस यहां पे कोई एग्जांपल नहीं है but uh, yeah if uh, n r out is ka matlab mere ko sara delete karega to zero ho jayega right so in this case you have to return minus 1 
yeah that's about it anything else you need s you have res you have yeah, i think that's it is res you have now yeah n is not defined n ko declare kar do top pe ya kahin pe bhi and n is equal to nums dot size एक और चीज यहाँ पे लॉन्ग लॉन्ग कर दो बिकॉज द सम कैन गो वट इज दू नाउ एस मॉडो पी ओ यू हैव नॉट स्टोर एम ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू आई पे वी हैव टू स्टोर दिस ऑल्सो दैट इज दबियसली वेरी गुड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग कि यू आर क्रिएटिंग दिस आर एंड देन यू आर चेकिंग फॉर Previous elements. Let's start submitting this. Okay, and these are overflow. Like at which point exactly? Oh, zero LL. You have to write this thing now. You zero LL because you know you are accumulating into long long. So this long long you have to create. Okay, submitted. Okay, guys. That's about it, yar. A uh, pretty simple question. You should look out at the previous question which we solved. That was the basic for this, you know, subarray type of questions. कैसे होते हैं? Like generally, के dance algorithm से हो रहे होते हैं. या फिर हम ऐसे mapping के through हम एक sum check कर रहे होते हैं, right? So subarray sum के question generally, uh, in this way we can solve. Okay, guys, bye.